All right, uh, this is Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus, right there in the middle. Um, this review is dedicated for him. If you've seen my previous uh, video of the entire Elite Guard collection, um, you'll see the other Elite Guard with him. But right now, uh, he is with his two lieutenants, Sentinel Prime and Jazz. Um, they were the first three lead guard uh, uh, team members to actually arrive on Earth uh, after Optimus Prime and the Autobots came. And <clears throat> they were asking about the AllSpark, Optimus Prime, we must return the AllSpark to Cybertron, as he says. Don't be a hero, Optimus. Ah, there. It's not in your programming. Yes, he told Optimus, don't be a hero. Oops, excuse me. Um, he's quite big and uh, well these are deluxe figures so obviously he'll be big because he's a leader class so let me just take these two guys away so you can appreciate the figure better uh, he's got three phrases the first one you just heard we must return the all spark to, to Cybertron yeah that was what he was harping on in season one I think or season two, I'm not sure. Just write down in the comment section which season. I think it was one. Okay. Um, and that's just the third phrase. He's a very nice, very well sculpted figure. I actually like him. Among all the leader class figures, Bulkhead, Megatron, Earth Mode Megatron, and Ultra Magnus, this guy has just takes the cake. I mean, just look at him. He's like Thor. Um, I will not compare him to Thor. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, but because of his hammer, <clears throat> he does remind me of Thor. Uh, it's a very cool figure. Um, I actually like the way they, uh, they redesigned Ultra Magnus. The only thing I didn't like was he was a Magnus on Cybertron, apparently is the highest ranking uh, officer in, in the Elite Guard program or, or in the entire Cybertron. He's like... Uh, he's like a general out there and Optimus Prime is a prime is just a lieutenant uh, I didn't quite like that in the beginning of the show because Optimus Prime is the leader of all the Autobots and even in the movie and in the series in the season after the movie the 80s movie Ultra Magnus was the was like uh, he was like Riker to Picard and Prime was Picard um, but uh, oh, Star Trek but um, in the animated line Prime is subordinate to Ultra Magnus that much I did not like but um, they made up uh, for well that particular detail they made it up by giving Ultra Magnus a wonderful wonderful uh, bot mode and alt mode and just a damn a darn good figure I, I just I mean he has he's got his negatives which I will discuss later but as it is this figure is just simply amazing. I mean, if you can still find him on clearance, right here now at Toys R Us, he's on clearance for $30 here in Manila in the Toy Kingdom. Uh, I don't think you can find him, but if you do pick him up, he is he's probably the best among the leader class. And for $30, uh, I think that's a steal. That's about $1,500. He was originally being sold for $3,000 or $60. Can you believe it? Leader class figures go up to $60 out here and nobody was buying them so I guess uh, our local TR TRU and Toy Kingdom put him on clearance and the sad part is I got him on regular price at about three thousand or fifty sixty dollars so I'm sort of tempted to get another one because he's on clearance but uh, I'll probably just save my money for the ROTF figures Okay, uh, on with the figure. Just just look at the figure for now. Uh, he's very poseable, uh, as you can see. I got him in a wonderful pose. He's not his in his very stoic uh, standing position. I don't. This is an FX Trans review. We're never going to see figures that way in their standing normal position. They're always going to be in poses, and it, it's great. And <clears throat> he does. I think he's, he can still activate lights and sound. No, he can't. Uh, oh, that's just how you activate lights. There's another button here when you 
put him in alt mode that activates the light so it, it disengages when you transform him his, his face moves so that's pretty cool I mean the leader class figures are really very nice even the paint job on this guy the one I have I really chose him he's got great paint job make sure when you're buying your Ultra Magnus you always check the chest plate paint job because that's the first one to go the uh, try me button uh, the try me window is right here on the packaging and you some of some of the figures the leader class uh, Magnus figures came with chips of paint chips right here 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 and, and here so better better be careful when you're uh, picking up an ultra magnus but if he's the last one if he's the last piece in the shop and you know you can live with a few paint chips just go get him okay make sure the black is evenly painted the legs are painted evenly just some stuff to look out when you're looking for um, uh, for leader for this leader class figure uh, one last look of him in bot mode very nice. I mean, this guy is just amazing. I cannot say enough about him. He's like Thor, uh, but again, he's not Thor. Okay, uh, just one, one particular uh, negative uh, uh, I've I've noticed about him is you don't see it right now, but when you start playing with this guy and start articulating him. You'll notice that the shoulder joint is the, the rotating shoulder joint is way back behind the shoulders. Um, it, it won't affect. It, it's not gonna matter right now because if you just move his hands up and down, his arms up and down, it does. It's not gonna matter. But if you uh, move, if you raise his arms as though he was reaching for the sky, it's gonna look funny because the joint is here and not here it should be here but based on the transformation the joint stayed there so oops sorry about that yeah, there's a transformation button right there but if you put his hands down it just looks normal uh, the, the the thing changes when you raise it okay also um, better watch out for quality issues if you can take him out of the package before purchasing him do so because uh, the ratchet hinge on on mine uh, well the left the left shoulder works perfectly you can hear the clicking sound but the right shoulder it's very loose his right shoulder it's very loose see you hardly hear any clicking it's tight I mean I, I meant it's tight but because there is no uh, ratchet the, the tightness of the ratchet joint is not there it, it sort of appears loose which I was quite disappointed. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get another Ultra Magnus, but it was just so difficult finding another one with no paint chipping here and there. So anyway, um, have a look at him again one last time in robot mode. I will be dedicating another, uh, a part two for this review just on his transformation because it's quite a lengthy process. So I'm sorry for those who hate two part reviews, but this will have a, a, a part two. So there you have him, part one of our review for Transformers Leader Transformers Animated Leader Class Ultra Magnus of the Autobot Elite Guard. Thanks for watching.